Mr. Polidor, our fine arts representative. And Mr. Polidor, what is going on here today? Today is Fine Arts Friday, and performing for us is the Heights High School Jazz Band, and we're super excited to have them, as well as Piney Point here, recording it all live to bring back to the students of HISD. Where's the Heights Jazz Band from? The Heights Jazz Band is a high school that's located in the Heights part of Houston, and it's from high school students from 9th to 12th grade, and it's an ensemble, and they actually have to try out to make the jazz band. It's really exciting. It's an elite group of students. Okay, well, you've heard it all from Mr. Polidor. We'll get back to you. As you can tell, we have just enjoyed some drinks as we're waiting for our performances to begin at our Fine Arts Fri Friday broadcast. We are so excited to be here at Hattie Mae White, and we hope that you enjoy our broadcast today. We have several groups performing behind us. You can see the jazz band is getting ready to get started, and we cannot wait to hear them all. And they have sounded great as they've been tuning up and getting ready to go. They're getting ready to start in just a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. Mr. Jimenez and I am honored to be standing right beside him. He is the director of the band team and will, will you tell us a little bit about them? Definitely. So the band is made up of students between 9th and 12th grade varying from levels of uh, almost beginner in, in regards to understanding the, the language of jazz uh, to some more experienced students that have had some experience in 6th grade to seniors uh, considering pursuing a career in music education. And here we are with Daphne Rodriguez and Kathy Simon. And these are the performers. And is the, is it hard for you to do these kind of stuff, or is it easy? It's not hard. I wouldn't say it's hard. It's um, it's actually a great experience. It exposes you. So, what do you think? I think it's not hard, but you really need to build. And uh, which are one of the best songs that you have built? I really like Bop for the World. It's our bebop piece and a child is born. And here we are with Liz. And she will be telling us about some of the performances that she does in the band. Uh, the performances are pretty great. I really enjoy uh, playing the bass. I'm a bass player, and I really like uh, playing with the band. We play as one, and it's really, uh, it's really fun. Thank you, Liz. Thank you for having me. I am the music coordinator for the HISD Fine Arts um, Department. I actually am the music curriculum specialist. And today for Fine Arts Friday, we have the Jazz uh, Heights High School Jazz Band. And each Friday, we have different performers come perform. 
uh, from the schools and just showcase what they're doing on their campuses. Do you like watching all of these performances? No, I love watching all of these performances. Our students do a great job each week performing for us, uh, and each week they just thrill us more. <laughs> Fantastic. Did you like it? Oh, sure I did. It was very jazzy. I loved the band. The band was great. The performance was great. And I loved the singer, especially the singer. She, she sang beautifully. How about you, Zoe? I liked the way that they like performed because it was really fun to watch. Okay, well, as I said before, today's not over yet. Today we also have another presentation behind us. Hey, as you can see, it might be the um, New Year's presentation. Here are the little children. They look so adorable. And I think I have an idea. What do you think, Gina? I think that I'm not quite sure what it is, but they're probably going to do a little routine or something. You, Zoe? I am very excited to be watching this Chinese New Year's performance by the little kids. So, what is this about? We are part of the Chinese New Year celebration for the HISD headquarters. Uh, it's hosted by the Confucius Institute. Uh, this is our second grade students, and they are here to perform four songs. Then you are going to hear about them singing Chinese. And how much did it take them to learn this four performance? Actually, this is not extra practice for them because they have been practicing Chinese every day since they are with us. And half of their day is done in Chinese and the other half of the day is in English. So they've been learning Chinese every day. Okay, so do you have any questions for Mr. Chen? Um, will they be dancing today? I don't think there's room for dancing, but there will be a little bit movements for them. <laughs> 